So I have suggested two edible oil companies in my channel. There is Ajanda Soya Limited and uh, Ajanda Soya Limited and uh, Ajanda Soya Limited and we uh, Vijay Solvets Limited. So Ajanda Soya actually has uh, produced very good results. So the last one year has given very good returns on investors or result, uh, returns on investors. So the stock price. Uh, the stock price actually risen from around uh, around 130 levels to around uh, it actually ended a stock split currently just now trading at around 300 levels after adjusting the stock split to face value 2. It posted a very good results for FY22 with the total revenues of 1345 crores and the net profit of 42 crores with an EPS of 5.42 face value 2. So if it is compared to face value 10 it is 25. So last year the total uh, sales was around 931 crores and net profit was 25 crores. So and the EPS was 3. That is a 15 from 15 of face value 10 the EPS is into 25. So the stock looks uh, has actually given returns from 130 levels to 300 levels given uh, the stock price has returned. But the same uh, has not happened for BJ Solvex Limited. Uh, but I am actually still bullish on the company because this is actually in the edible oil sector that is actually manufacturing mustard oil and uh, refined edible oil, Vanaspati oil, ghee and all. So the demand will actually continue for this product long term and uh, the prices of these companies is expected to rise in future also even, uh, even if there is a one year, two year correction but uh, for a long term basis there will be demand for these products. So as you see the sales growth, so many positive sales growth was 2716 crores and then profit was 54 crores as compared to 64 crores last year. But uh, we need to see that uh, the stock profit has sharply risen three times from 2020 to uh, from 21 to 64 crores last year and this year is 54 crores. So the EPS for the current year 169 as compared to 200 last year. But it, uh, we need to remember that the EPS has risen from 64 levels to 190 levels in the last two years. So uh, th this stock is trading in just uh, just around nine times its earnings currently, and uh, it actually it actually touched a high of around even uh, five thousand levels in August 2021. So that was an, a very expensive valuation for a company, since we an actually have an EPS of uh, 20, uh, 200 and uh, it was a very expensive level. So if an investor who had bought uh, to that the level, that was actually the, due to the falling earnings, he might have been sitting in a great loss. But we should not be getting carried away uh, due to any excessive speculation in the market and we should always keep stop loss of our investments. So uh, that is a risk in the stock market. We should not be investing huge amounts in a particular company. We should be investing only a small portion. Say we should not be investing uh, 1 lakh rupees at 5000 levels for the company hoping that the EPS will increase to 300. Because it is possible that the company may not see the, strong, see the strong growth every year after year. And there will be, even after the procedure the good earnings, no, the market may not uh, give the true value for the stock. So it is always, uh, it is recommended to small caps companies like uh, Vijay Solvex, the volumes are very low. We should be investing only just say 5,000 rupees or 3,000 3, rupees. That too when the, it is actually at attractive valuations. It is a small cap stock. But I am actually bullish on this company that this will actually increase the sales will in future and it will increase the revenues in future definitely considering that this, it has actually increased the net profit from 10 crores to 54 crores in the uh, last 4 years. It, is, it can increase to 100 crores in the next 4 years possibly and the EPS can increase to even 300. But, uh, but we should not be blindly investing in 5,000 rupees 100 shares. Maybe a 5,000 rupees investment, uh, we can actually invest uh, the current levels. I think we can invest in the current levels say, for around uh, 3 quantity or 4 quantity and uh, if it corrects further we can actually make more in the hope that we will actually this being a company that may actually edit oil will actually increase our revenues in future. But we should actually keep stop loss for all our investments, any, any investments we make in the stock market.